Before Revit 2025, there was a massive headache for all family creators, the infamous array of one problem. If you had an array in a family and you needed to show only a single instance of that element, maybe the user selected one from the parameter dropdown menu, Revit simply wouldn't allow it to happen. Trying to set the array count to one would often break your array, delete elements, or give you an error. It was incredibly frustrating for content creators trying to build flexible components. But now in Revit 2025, the headache is gone. You can finally set the number in an array to one. Revit has automatically included those visibility parameters for us so we don't have to do it on the back end. Right here, I have an array of four, but if I wanna change it to one, you can see that it's dropped down to one and that this one is grayed out. So whenever you put your preview visibility on, you can see that Revit has already done the headache for you. The array group maintains its integrity and you only see the single instance. This is a monumental improvement for all content creators. Whenever you are choosing to array, use a self-contained object like a nested family, never raw geometry. This will ensure stability and performance in your Revit project. And be mindful of array limitations for unique elements or complex geometry. And the best part about it, the Revit 2025 Array of One update is a fantastic improvement for all content creators.